you flirted with going back to college. We talked about your alma mater. Yeah. Any other, since you sort of opened the door to say, I'd, I'd be interested in coaching, have you heard from other schools since Oklahoma State went in a different direction? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, I, yeah. Are you going to be coaching next year? No. Okay. No, I don't believe so. Okay. But you... Are you hiring? No, 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 no. <laughs> but, but you... So you did l let people know that you'd be interested in coaching I, I've, down I've, the road. As I told you, I've had, had this conversation with people, and it really was... I felt like when, when my, my father passed away and then turning 40, I, I did do a kind of a self-assessment. I love what I do. I work for a great company. I work for really good people, and I enjoy it. And I do think I have some form of impact on the game. And I love doing afternoon drive radio, which I've been able to do now for uh, eight years nationally. Um, but if I can impact kids' lives and be a part of the college process where you come in a boy, you end up a man, and, and really be um, uh, almost like a father figure to so many players that would go through what I went through in college, if I ha am fortunate to get the right opportunity for me and my family, I'll take a look at it. I'll have a conversation. It just, it seems like something that, um, my dad had imp an impact on people's lives and I'm forever jealous of, of being that agent of change. And I'd love to maybe someday get that opportunity. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.